Hey y'all, it's the Luxury Club and I'm back with another video. Guys, I am so excited. I know it's been a long time and I just want to thank you NARS for having me, okay? This video is from my master class that I had with NARS Cosmetics. Um, it was an honor for them to have me. So I decided to do a full detailed length video of the look that we created in the class. So first I went in with the NARS Luminous Primer. Okay, and then I went in with a Hydro Grip from Milk and the J. LaRue Mattifying Primer. Make sure you guys use my discount code, The Luxury Club, when you guys are shopping. Now, yes, I did use multiple primers and moisturizers on Shay's face, especially because the look that we we're going for is more like a Hollywood bridal glam. So I wanted her skin to come out absolutely amazing. And as you can tell, I went in with her foundation shade. Yes, I know her chest is, is coming off a little bit light on camera, but I wanted to show you guys that the foundation is going to match perfectly on her neck, her chest, and her face. It's going to cohesively live together, okay? Now, I really love this foundation. This foundation is the NARS Soft Matte Foundation in the shade Tahoe. This foundation is absolutely amazing, especially because it has a soft matte coverage which basically is the name of the foundation <laughs> of course um i really like this foundation i'm not gonna say i like it better than the natural radiance foundation i feel like they both do something totally different they are two great foundations so i definitely think you guys should check them out and see if you like it and let me know if you guys like the soft matte foundation if you guys already have it let me know in the comments what do you guys think about the soft matte foundation because I really like it. Next, I'm going to go in with the NARS Creamy Radiance Concealer. Um, the shades that I'm using on Shea is in the shade Custard. And then I also, in the video, go in with the shade Ginger. Um, I used two shades lighter than her complexion. And then I also went in and highlighted under her eyes with an even lighter concealer. And the reason why I did that is because the look that I was going for, I know for sure that I want to make sure that her eyes are super highlighted, especially because it's going to be a, like a Hollywood glam. So it was very important that I definitely highlighted her eyes. And yes, the bee blender that I'm using is from the Luxury Club, period pool. I'm just cleaning around her face with excess foundation. Oh my gosh, look at her skin, absolutely amazing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and contour um, Shay's face. I'm using the Juvia's Place foundation sticks. I definitely use foundation sticks, um, creamy foundation sticks at that um, to contour. It's better for me than going in with straight powder or just like setting the face with concealer and then going in with powder. I prefer to, you know, apply all my wet products first and then set them with dry. So I'm just really taking my time and snatching up her nose, making sure everything is blended. I hope y'all not making fun of my gloves, okay? I hope y'all not making fun of my gloves, okay? Because my nails wasn't done, honey. Y'all was not gonna come for me talking about my hands are ashy and my nails not done. So I had to make sure I put on a glove so y'all won't judge me. So, <laughs> so as you guys can tell, I took the lighter concealer and I'm just highlighting under her eyes like I told you guys before. And literally all that did was just brighten up her face. And then using the Huda Beauty, um, in the shade pound cake to set under her eyes I'm going to take a brush and I'm dusting that off as you guys can tell and I'm literally light lightly up <laughs> lightly applying the setting powder over the concealer and literally I'm just taking my time to set this and if you notice I'm literally taking my brush and I dust off every time so that I don't have too much excess powder on her face and then taking a wedge sponge I bought this from Ulta I'm going to snatch her nose and set her face with the MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix in the shade NC50. Um, you can also use NC55. NC55 has more a, of like a more deeper colored yellow tone. It has a darker payoff than the NC50, but for her, I'm, I actually mixed between NC50 and NC55. To contour, I am using the NARS bronzing powder in the shade Punta Cana and I'm going right under her cheeks. See? Right under her cheeks. And usually I have Shea smile or I have her suck it in. And literally all I'm doing is I'm taking that bronzer and I'm taking my time and I'm working that into her skin. 
now i don't want to do too much because i literally want to take my time and make sure everything is blended correctly down to her nose and in her cheeks so i'm gonna build as i go okay and then i'm gonna go ahead and take the sculpt powder from the black radiance true complexion contour palette and i'm going to use that to contour her nose okay and the reason why I use that lighter powder is because if I use that darker powder, her nose would have came off way too strong. So I'm using somewhat of a shade, one shade lighter than her foundation shade in the beginning to kind of sculpt her face and build my coverage. So instead of using a darker powder, I use a lighter powder and then I build my coverage as I go. So as you guys can tell, I'm lightly dusting the powder onto her face and I'm building her contour, period. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and use this NARS blush, which is absolutely amazing because it has like a highlight um, to this blush. So it's kind of like a mineralized blush and the shade is Towels, Tails, okay, I, I can't pronounce it, but it's amazing, okay? It's absolutely amazing. So you guys definitely need to get that. And then I'm gonna go in using the NARS Brow Perfector uh, Brow Pencil. And this is in the shade Lava, you guys. Listen, I'm focused, okay? Y'all can see it in my eyes, okay? I'm so focused. I really wanted to slow it, um, slow this video down, especially when I got to the brow section because I know a lot of you guys struggle doing eyebrows because I know, because listen, I've been there, done that. And especially because I kind of did this backwards, I decided to do brows last. I really wanted you guys to kind of see how detailed I am when it comes to building my brow. But not only that, I just feel as if that sometimes when we watch YouTube videos, it's a little frustrating because it's like people get their brows done in like 3.5 seconds. And I really wanted to show you guys that, look, it takes time. You really have to take your time and make sure everything is detailed, okay? So I'm just literally taking my time. I'm tracing and I'm filling in as I go. And then creating brow strokes or hair-like strokes in the front of her brows to give more of a natural effect. Well, her brows look so good, y'all. Like, wow. Now that I look at it, I'm like, damn, girl, you did it. You see how much time I'm taking to make sure this is perfect? Like, literally, it takes that long. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take my Too Faced Concealer in the shade Cookie. And I'm using a flat concealer brush to sculpt out her brows. Now, I'm only applying the concealer towards the end of the brow. The reason why I do that is because I want her brows to be super highlighted, and then I slowly but gradually bring the concealer towards the front, and then I drag that concealer down into her eyelids. This is what's gonna help me apply eyeshadow to the eyes, and then I'm blending that out so that, make, so that when I do apply my eyeshadow, everything is silky and smooth. Guys, this eyeshadow palette is from NARS. Um, it is the Bijou eyeshadow palette. It's actually a limited collection. Um, it's part of their holiday palette. It's a holiday palette that they have. It's super limited. Um, and yeah, I got it, y'all. I, I like. I went on the website and tried to find it, but I mean, it's not there. And I feel like the reason why it's not there is because your girl got it first, and no, nobody got it yet. And yeah, like I got access to it. So. <laughs> let me stop but no seriously this eyeshadow palette is absolutely phenomenal okay absolutely phenomenal and what i'm doing is i'm only literally i only use one shade literally one shade that's all i use and um i literally just build my coverage okay and um i'm taking my time and i'm blending everything out i started off with one shade up until i added the eyeshadow primer but for the most part i only added one shade so go ahead and watch me do this eyeshadow look um i did it on one side now i'm gonna do it on the other so you guys can watch me do it again And I'm only adding this eyeshadow shade in the crease and I'm working that product into her eyes, okay? So literally just take your time and blend it. I know a lot of you guys were asking me, what is that on your hand? It's a powder puff. I use a powder puff, especially when I do um, eyes last or eyebrows last because I wanna make sure that my hand prints are not sticking on her face. So I'm literally just taking my time and I'm blending in that shade into her eyes. This is literally the same shade. Whatever, the shade that I use on the top of her eyes, I'm using that same shade on the bottom as well. And I'm smoking out the bottom of her eyes with that same eyeshadow shade. Nothing has changed yet. 
Okay, you guys? So I'm still blending all that in. Guys, it's the details. Like, literally, I told myself, I'm like, look, I really want everybody to see the detail and how much work it took to create this look. And even now that I'm looking back at it, I'm like, dang, there's some things I could have did differently. But, um... But for the most part, literally, I took my time. So as you can see, I took the darker brown shade from the same eyeshadow palette. Now this is the second shade. So I started off with that first purple shade. Now I'm going in with that dark brown shade. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that darker brown shade on top of that purple shade to kind of create a boldness in her eyes. What that's going to do, it's going to make her eyes pop way more. It's going to add definition to her eyes, definitely. And it's going to make her eyes come out a little bit darker, but not too dark. Especially when I go ahead and add that black, it's just going to go ahead and take it to the next level. But before I do that, I'm taking this NARS eyeshadow base and I'm applying that into the balls of her eyes. So I had Shay open her eyes and look down to kind of indicate where to place this eyeshadow base. I suggest you guys do that as well. It kind of helps you make sure that the eyeshadow is being placed in the right direction. And I'm using that gold glitter shimmer. Oh my god. Do, do y'all do y'all see that? Do, do you guys see that? Can you can you hear me? Did, did, did you see that? Oh my god. <gasps> guys, that was like like oh my god, that looks so good. It's like now that I'm looking at it, like me sitting back and looking at me work, it's like, dang girl, you did that? <laughs> oh girl, yes you did that. Yes you did it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But this eyeshadow is absolutely amazing, okay? Not only is it an eyeshadow shimmer, but then it has like this glitter payoff on it. And it, it's like a pigment slash glitter slash eyeshadow, which is so freaking dope. Love it. So what I'm doing is I'm taking that same dark brown, uh, well, not brown, but purple. And I'm reapplying that around the balls of the eye where I, I applied the um, shimmer so that everything looks really really neat and then using the Inglot gel 77 liner i'm going to line the top line her lash line at the top and then i'm also going to line her waterline as well but i'm really taking my time with a small detail brush and i'm applying that gel liner right on her lash line okay and then i'm taking a smaller brush to blend that all out Sometimes your clients will start to cry when you are applying this to the waterline. What I always suggest is take your time. As you guys can tell, I'm literally just taking my time and I'm going little by little and I'll give my clients breaks in between um, so that they won't cry. But then I'm taking that dark brown shade as well and I'm going to smudge that um, black liner out with that brown eyeshadow as well. I know you guys are looking at it like, dang, oh my gosh, how does she do this with not having that much fallout? As you guys can tell, I have some fallout, especially because of that shimmer, but I'm going to show you how to take it off. I'm using the um, Urban Decay Blackout eyeshadow, by the way, um, to continue smudging out that black liner because I really want to intensify that black liner. But now that I'm looking back at it, if you really wanted this to like really look super duper smoky, me personally, I probably would have, I should have kind of like smoked it out a little bit more with the black powder I, I think i was nervous no i was nervous okay you gotta understand guys i had to redeem myself from my last class so much stuff happened in my last nars class so i was like no i have to redeem myself this time okay your girl had to redeem herself so i was so nervous about the look that i was going for because i knew for sure that i had to kill it okay kill it so i didn't do too much but i'm taking this brush right and this brush is the same brush that I use for her foundation, like her foundation powder. And basically what I'm doing is instead of patting, I'm literally poking at it and I'm plucking those the, the shimmers off and I'm dusting it off. So I'm tap, dust, tap, dust, tap and dust, literally. And then what I do is I take a smaller powder brush and I'm using NC50, which is a which is the lighter shade of NC55. And I'm going to I dust it off under her eyes and I kind of set that lighter powder in so that she doesn't have any flashback. 
and then I'm just touching things up so I touched up her brows and now I'm taking setting powder to kind of trace out her contour because I really want to intensify her contour so that's why I'm applying a little bit of setting powder to her cheeks just to bring out her contour a little bit more And then I'm going in with this Morphe bronzer. This bronzer is in the shade Bahamas, by the way. I love it because it has a shimmer. Remember how before I told you guys I didn't contour too much? The reason why I didn't contour too much the first time around was because I knew that I was going to go in with bronzer. I really love bronzer. I just feel like bronzer gives you guys like a more of a glow. And it, it just looks snatched. Your shade, your shade just say that, right? Snatched, period. Yes. We want to be snatched. Yes, indeed. Very much giving very much did what I had to do very much assignment was very much completed and now I'm taking my Morphe luminous setting spray and I'm going to set her face prior to me blending that in with the back of my beauty blender next I'm using the be perfect sub-zero um, I sh um, well, I'm saying eyeshadow palette, highlighter palette, and this is from the M.M. Mitchell collection, and I'm using the last three shades. I just literally blended them all together because I really love this highlighter palette, and I'm literally just dusting that in in her highlighted areas. Shay loves this highlight. Yes, yes. <laughs> she really likes this highlighter palette, you guys. Um, and I'm just using a small brush to go into her nose contour, and I'm going to go ahead and set that with her um, setting spray. That's the Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. And then using the Luxury Club Multi-Purpose Glue, I'm applying lash glue to her lash line so that I can go ahead and apply um, her lashes. But while that's drying, I'm going to use the NARS eyeliner. It's a brown eyeliner. Mind you, it dries like super duper fast. But the reason why I use this eyeliner is because I really wanted to trace her lip out so that it pops. So... Once that's kind of like done, I'm going to try to blend it out as much as I can. But as you can tell, it's not budging because it literally dries super duper fast. So I'm trying to blend as much as I can. And then I went in and it traced the top of her lip as well. So it kind of gives the illusion that her lips are kind are done. Okay. And um, so once I'm done tracing that out, I blended it out a little bit trying to, you know, try my best. But I'm going to go straight in also with the KKW Lip Liner in the shade Nude 3. And what I'm doing is I'm applying... Well, no, I'm lying. That's not the KKW. That's actually the Jaclyn Hill Liner, okay? It's a light brown shade from Jaclyn Hill in the Morphe Collection. It's similar to the KKW um, Nude 3 Liner as well. So just in case if you don't have that, you can use the kkw if not you can use the jacqueline hill it doesn't matter just like a soft brown to go over the dark brown that we use and then i'm also applying these lashes these lashes are from la flair bell cosmetics which is shay's lash brand okay that's the model the model that's that that's just sitting right there in the chair yeah yeah those are her lashes i love them okay and i believe these shade um the style of these lashes are in the style flare okay and I'm using this mask NARS mascara the climax mascara um, to apply the mascara to her eyes now guys this mascara is brand new okay I literally just got it that is the reason why we're using it so is this lipstick so don't come for me okay so this lipstick is the air matte um, lipstick from NARS and then um, yeah so I'm applying some lip gloss as well and this lip gloss is from the Prettyologist. Um, not only did I use the Prettyologist lip gloss, I mixed it with a lip gloss from MAC. So the MAC um, lip gloss, clear lip gloss, and then I'm blending that also in with the Prettyologist lip gloss. And then I'm going to set her brows with the NYX Brow Glue. And pretty much that is it, you guys. This is the look. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And click that notification bell so y'all can know when I drop new videos and new bangers, period. Bye.